Hello, this is Brian. Today is Tuesday, November 14th, 2023. And I'm here at the Desert View Picnic area here in the Laguna Mountains. It's about 5 a.m. right now. So I apologize that this video is not gonna have much to see, but I just wanted to see how recording in the dark would work out with my headlamp. I also have a I have a handheld flashlight too, but it just isn't working very well. So I'm over here by one of the picnic tables and just trying to see if I can get some kind of video in. I'm planning on heading over towards Vulcan Mountain later once the sun's up. I'm not a big fan of hiking in the dark. I do it if I have to, but I'm not a big fan of it because I like to shoot video and yeah, you can't really see much. Well, I'm over here by this California black oak right here, changing colors. Beautiful Quercus Kellogg. So I'm gonna assume this is gonna be a pretty short video. A couple small clips, just testing out uh, night hiking. There's one of the picnic tables right here. There's a small trail leading down here from the parking area, which is up this way. Uh, so this isn't going to be one of my better videos, but kind of testing out because eventually when I want to get in a really long hike, I'm going to be starting early in the morning and I'm not going to be filming a lot when it's pitch black out. Obviously, I'm going to film my introduction like I normally do, the hello, this is Brian routine. This today is da 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 da. I am at da 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 da. My plan is da 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 da. But I just want to test it out and see. Yeah, the visibility is not the best on this at night. This is headlamps mostly just for being able to see where I'm putting my feet down. There's a beautiful black oak right here. Got these nice colors. I know the 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 shadow of my camera. You can see the shadow of the camera down here. But so maybe I should aim it up a little bit more. So yeah, at least you can see some of the fall colors here. Still left on these beautiful oaks. Yeah, it was definitely a, a later later fall color season this year again, second year in a row. I remember 2021 these tree the uh, black oaks they were already peaking in October. That year late uh, mid to late October they're already peaking. This has been a very, very, very hot November. Maybe not so much here in the mountains, of course. But... Ah, sorry about that, buddy. Yeah, Quercus Kellogg, beautiful black oak. All right, I'm going to shoot just a couple of clips today. I'm not going to do a lot for this video. This is kind of like me just testing out. There we are, Jeffrey Pine. Finish Jeffrey. Can't really see much of it. There's the bark. I'm just gonna follow this little single track back up to the car. Uh, see you on the next clip. All right, another awesome plant on a night tour of Desert View Picnic area. Look at this beautiful manzanita right here. What a beauty! What an absolute stunner. Oh, and there's a silk tassel on the other side of it, too. I want to say this is pink brack, but it has the nascent inflorescences. I wonder if this is an eastwood. Of course, this is... I think this is an eastwood manzanita. Well, normally, yeah, this is pretty big for an eastwood. There's a silk tassel on the other side. Where did I see it? There's a tall silk tassel bush over here somewhere, too, I think. see it. I know I saw it. I must be tripping today. Because I saw a manzanita-like bush with oppositely arranged leaves, which means silk tassel. I must be bugging or something. All right, well. It's another. Oh, another very common sight. Oh, this is a large one, too. This is a 
holly leaf red berries. Oh no, wait a minute. It's not as large as I thought it was because it's right next to a much larger birch leaf mountain mahogany. The birch leaf circuit carpus right here. Mountain mahogany. I was thinking this was a huge holly leaf red berry, but there's a circuit carpus right above it. So yeah, Ramnus alyssifolia. I can still see some fruit on it. Really cool. Really cool. So I guess I apologize if this isn't one of the most inspired videos, but I figured I'd try a little something different for a shorty today. Yeah, here's the old mountain mahogany right here. Yeah, Sir Carpus betuloides already betuloides. I think it still has, still has some fruit on it. These little things here. Circa carpus, tail fruit in Greek. Because the fruit kind of look like twisty tails. Kind of like, almost like a foxtail. Speaking of which, I was really lucky this morning driving up here. I got to see a fox on Sunrise Highway. I got to see a, a silver fox, which was really cool. I don't think I'd get really good wildlife shots over here in the dark. It's usually when you're going to see stuff like that is in the dark. Because our most of our wildlife is very reclusive. There's another mountain mahogany right here. Another circuit carpus betuloides, variety betuloides. So this is kind of a taller one. Yeah, this thing goes up there quite a ways. That's pretty. Very pretty. Yeah. I know I've, I've done a spotlight video on this plant, but I think maybe even today later on when there's more light obviously might get into an ode video there's some decent sized ones here actually i've seen it get much larger than this but yeah, there's some pretty pretty decent sized circuit carpus this is this has got a nice trunk system here it's got some kind of gall right there in the center but yeah this is a beautiful mountain mahogany a couple of beauties right here there's another oak over there. But yeah, I was thinking that was a pink brack manzanita, but pink brack manzanitas are not supposed to form their preformed flower buds. All right, well, until I find the next plant, I am gonna just go dark. See you on the next clip. Another handsome Jeffrey pine right here. Yeah, my voice sounds different. Still getting getting over a head cold I got started affecting me thankfully not when I went to Palomar Mountain last week uh, yeah, that's why my voice is a little bit deeper and raspier than usual still getting over that it's been a it's been a very annoying week <laughs> where I work I work in a grocery store and it's just passing around like crazy so it's kind of kind of annoying I'm starting to see some hints of twilight starting to Creep up towards the east. There's another black oak right here. Some more picnic tables down there. There's a little steep trail going down there. Well, I got some mountain mugwort right over here. Artemisia ludoviciana subspecies in Comta. The mountain silver mugwort. So, yep, I'm even botanizing in the dark. Why? Because, because plants. Let's put it that way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I shot a lot of video of this last week at Palomar. The western choke cherry, Prunus virginiana, variety Demissa. It's a nice thicket of it over here. Now, these ones are already way past their, their color peak, so they're going deciduous. There's a, wow, there's some big thickets over here of it. Some more of it right over here. Another black oak right over here. Yeah. The reason why I'm here so early is because I went and dropped off a co-worker who starts work at 4 a.m. Because that's when I normally clock in. So I figured you know, just uh, do that and then start heading to wherever I'm going to go. There are Jeffrey Pines, of course. Yep. 
Beautiful three needle Jeffrey pine. Okay, maybe another clip or two before I end this. All right, well, I'm over here at a Palmer Cianothus, Cianothus palmery. And I gotta aim the camera up a little bit so I don't get the shadow so much, the camera shadow blocking the view. But yeah, these are the old spent seed capsules from this summer. Yep, uh, Cianothus palmery. Uh, earlier, I got a view of uh, Stevenson Peaks. So the towers on Stevenson Peak. You can see the little red lights. It's over this way. You might actually see the red light there. Right in the center of the camera, you can see the red light there. That's Stevenson Peak over there. Oh, here's a nice little young, sprightly, beautiful oak right here. A young, little young sapling right here. Beautiful black oak. I know it's a, when I took the pictures, I took some some pictures of the black oak leaves. They almost look like they're red in the the flash of the camera. It makes them look kind of reddish. It's pretty cool. Oh, look at this little beautiful Jeffrey pine baby. Nice young, nice young handsome tree right here. But, all right, well, let's see if I can find anything else before. Shut the video down. Oh, well, we got some. There's some Wright's buckwheat right here. There you go, them. Wrighty variety membranosium. The higher elevation version of this. Still blooming here in November. Pretty cool. You have to do a spotlight on that. I haven't really been doing a lot of spotlight videos lately, but. I mean, yeah, I gotta start getting on that. All right, maybe one last clip. All right, so we're here at the beginning of the picnic area. Yeah, it's a sign of the future. Buying your adventure pass uh, electronically. I used to buy a, a Forest Service adventure pass every year. Now I buy the America the Beautiful pass so I can s uh, stroll in uh, without having to bring cash or whatever to a national park, which I've only visited uh, Cabrillo National Monument last year since getting last year's pass. America the Beautiful. There's our typical trail board here. Yeah. So yeah, I used to do the Adventure Pass, but I've been doing America the Beautiful because if I want to go to a national park or national monument, I can cruise on in and be all good. You know, have to shell out a bunch of cash. So, and you can still use it here in the national forest. So, yeah, here's the well, here's the America the Beautiful type pass, but these are like for seniors. These are for seniors. This is what I used to get right here. I would get the annual pass. And then sometimes I get a second vehicle pass in case I'm rolling with somebody else. So this is like this is about thirty dollars a year, and this is about five extra dollars. Uh, I do, like I said, I do have the regular Valent, uh America the Beautiful pass. I do use that one now, so I can again. So if I wanted to, I can cruise up to Sequoia National Park and be all good and just show them uh, show them the pass and wheel it on through and not carry a bunch of cash. So I'd like to try to carry about $10 in case I want to go to the state parks. Usually the state parks are usually about $10. But yeah, this is your typical trail board or kiosk here. Yeah, I think this is going to about do it. Uh, this is kind of long enough about me wandering on the dark. I'll show you what my pass looks like. I'm going to get over there. Just give me a moment. I'll see, see over there. So... I'm over here by my car. 
that's what it, that's what it looks like. What happens is you get a green hang tag that says America the Beautiful, and then you get a card, and you put the card inside. You put the card inside in the holder with uh, your signature facing out, and then that's your America the Beautiful pass. And that's what I've been using for the last two years. So hopefully I'll get to some national parks. It'd be really great if I made my made myself out to Joshua Tree finally. I've never been over there before. But, all right, well, this is basically going to do it for me. Thanks for watching this short video. Probably not the most inspired thing in the world because don't catch a lot when it's pitch black out. And one thing is the stars. The stars are striking tonight. I think I can see Venus. I might even be able to see it here on the camera. I mean, actually, yeah, right there in the dot. The dot. You can see my hand. My hand's waving in front of it. That's why it's kind of flashing. But that's uh, Venus right there. So at least get to see something. But yeah, the star show out here is incredible. Less light pollution. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.